on a stage 9 I'd like to present you the Z depth which I call it. it's a special map with Z depth you can create pretty nice realistic atmosphere in your scene and let's start with importing it in our Photoshop working file so by pressing shift and drop it in the center of our composition you see we have in front much more light what we have in uh, behind so select the whole image press ctrl and c for making a copy of it and create a new layer I just put some uh, random color to show you how actually ZDEF is working there are two major tricks which most of the professional visualizer are using and let's go to the channels but first create a mask uh, of your layer and go to your channel layer mask and paste with ctrl and v your zf map and you see it appears immediately in, in your mask there is the only way to bring some image in your mask and it start to react immediately to the colors of your scene and what i've done previously i just painted in the orange color the whole scene and the definition of set depth is actually um, the color will work in the area where the white of our Z depth is and on the black no actually is the opposite on the black side it starts to pierce the colors what we have in our layer and otherwise you see uh, it's not appearing at all uh, and by switch on and off you can see the difference but because I would like to have much more realistic air night atmosphere I'm gonna paint it with the blue color which and the most of images in the professional photography you can uh, see easily the blue color is used for the atmospheric saturation and let's play a little bit with the layer modes I choose the overlay again and let's play a little bit with the opacity you see in this zone i have where my black color is of the z depth actually is more bluish and in the front it stay uh, the same so in this way z depth is working and this is the first uh, way of uh, using it let's go to the second and create a new layer and again I'm gonna put the same in, uh, in a channel so but first um, I cropped the all layers in one until now you see this is the final image of all the layers what we work till now and I create a new layer in my channel so again I make a copy of the Z depth and put in the layer of my channel mask you see and let's go to blur linear blur is what we need for our 
a scene and I name it Z depth for my further steps. So I go to blur and choose the lens blur and for the depth map I pick the Z depth source and let's play with the focal distance and immediately you see on your focus at the end of the image actually uh, is much more clear than what you have in front and this is the way how um, actually a little bit blurry effects will work on your image you can also choose the radius or invert the selection if you want to have the focus in the center of your scene or on the both sides 